leadership with integrity. The country needs leadership that the people can have trust and confidence in. We need a prime minister whose integrity commission statutory declarations can be certified and published in accordance with law. We have not put any ban or gag order on any of our MPs or senators talking about integrity commission issues. In going for so welcome again, welcome again to Life with Jennifer J. Emma. I am your girl, Auntie Jen, yeah. I am your girl, Auntie Jen, yeah. Remember the song that we want to put the rhythm to? Life with Jennifer, 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 life with Jennifer. I'm going to practice that. But anyway, you hear what Mr. Golden is saying. Don't be distracted at the things which we should be talking about. And you will not get certified of them something. You hear what him have to say. But you know what I love? I love to see that there are people in the society who know better. And I'm glad to see someone coming out to really speak about it. Because this nonsense needs to stop. And... Professor urge constitutional fix amidst dual citizens of Cascas. Oldness draw flack for joining the hub hub. Imagine, I said it here before, and I just love when I said things and it come back and somebody else has seen it. Somebody else has seen it. And he's also saying that the constitution must be taught in school. But, sir, I'm glad you come on. But I would say to you right now, like, oh, it is now. I want you to go in a parliament for me, sir. I want you to go into the parliament and teach the GLP members them for me. Because them don't know. They don't know the constitution. So describing their furor over the opposition leader, Golden British citizenship, Cascas. The University of the West Indies professor, Dr. Christopher Charles, say he is alarmed, me alarmed too. That Prime Minister Andrew Olness has joined the talk even though there is no constitutional breach. I am alarmed to sir. Not he alone. And many in the society who have knowledge of the constitution. I know all you have put it out there and they have them little heap hypocrite people running up and down talking about British and all of that. Knowing that there is a nation that is ignorant to truth. And because of that we use the vulnerable to our disadvantage. I've been saying this with politicians a long time enough. Some drastic measures need to take. Some drastic measures need to take, my people. Huh? How can you have a leader of a country coming out to speak in such a manner? This, this is absolutely unacceptable, my viewers and my subscribers. It is no then confused, then confused until the Jamaica Labour Party become confused. Then confused. Now they are saying they have to remove the recommendation to remove the ombudsman from the office of the ECJ. Because they say people have cried out against it. That's one. Then Mr. Delroy Chuck come out the other day and say Corporal punishment, you're gonna make pass a laugh for corporal punishment. I'm gonna show you all your people they confused. May I show all of uno how uno government confused and don't know how we love come from my life and my talk come comment and try to speak in our way and I need to open up on a knowledge to learn it. Then after Mr. Chuck said that, Flavor come out and said there will be no corporal punishment in the home. No, no law to ban corporal punishment in the home. Because I want to if I don't want to ban it. If I want to want to see the generation worse than what we have, you know. I don't say if you don't abuse the babies, you know. No, no, no. But there must be discipline within the home. Because if we don't discipline them in the home, a more moral breakdown we are going to have in the society. So I don't really understand what I want to say. I don't really understand how to say can't cheer and how to say full fool or how to go on with you I roll on a ton idiot up in there. A woman, a woman. You see, I'm not unfair, I'm not unjust. 
on the labor right now in a 2020 when people in a coronavirus you know on a russian call the election on out there you know me never see the PMP behave the way how me see on our behave. I, I, I hope people remember that. Me never see them behave on our behave and I try to tear down the body. Me never see Peter Phillips come out and I say nothing against Andrew Bad Money. Me talk about Andrew for declaring house and jump out upon him about him bad mind Andrew. See that now? Three years later, Andrew still can't be certified. So a bad mind, Mr. Phillips, in bad mind him down. A bad mind, a son of state, who don't love law and order and correction. I saw on a state. I saw on a state. So back to the constitution mix up. Me go make on a listen to this my people. Me go make on a listen to what this gentleman have to say in regards to Andrew Oldness. Also, and we need answers. Listen to this. Honorable Andrew Wallace, are you among the six parliamentarians? And if you are not among the six parliamentarians, then does we sin the Gagada? Simple. We sin the Gagada since apparently you might not be among the six parliamentarians. Anybody was a Gagada, I will institute the Gagada as something to hide. Endless destruction. If you are not a part of the six, lift the gag order. If you are not a part of the six and your oldness, lift the gag order. If your wife is not a part of the six, lift the gag order. Mr. Oldness, if Everal Wilmington is not a part of the six, Lift the gag orders and I'm asking questions. Mr. Andrew Wallace, if Floyd Green is not a part of the six, lift the gag order. Mr. Ba Mr. Andrew Wallace, if Mr. Bobby Montague is not a part of the six, lift the gag order. Lift the gag order. If you clean and squeaky clean, Lift the gag order. So yeah, try to put something upon Marky G. For cover on the tracks. And you will want to run out on the wall like when white rain or fall and crab or crawl out. Lift the gag order. And my viewers and my subscribers. I want you to help me to send a message out to ask Mr. Andrew Owens, the Prime Minister of Jamaica, if he's creaky clean, lift the gag harder. So, all of Jamaica can know that you are squeaky, squeaky, squeaky clean. And you don't have no skeleton in your closet. If you do that, I will help to tell Jamaica to vote for you because you are squeaky clean. But if you can't, then I will not. So what you want? You want me campaign for you to tell people to vote for you because you're squeaky clean? Lift the gag order. My viewers and my subscriber. Remember to like, share, and to subscribe to this channel, Life with Jennifer J. And, and guess what? I'm your girl, Auntie Jen. Catch you next time. Bye.